Welcome to game one of the losers match. We have How Dare You starting at the 12 o'clock location as the green Zerg 6 o'clock location. We have Ratatatata TNG or RTG. I wonder if the TNG is for like Ratatatata Star Trek the next generation or next generation. Ratatatata next generation. I don't know. Although it's TE and whatever. This is on Blindside, which I have never seen. I don't know if it's an old school map that I just never saw. This is kind of weird. Minerals straight up in the... They're straight up in the map feature. Huh. I've never seen Blindside, though. I don't know much about it, so I'm looking at it for the first time along with you guys. Interesting little ramp right here leading into a natural expansion. Kind of weird glyphs there on the ground. Looks like kind of an open space, a little bit like Tau Cross. This reminds me a bit in construction of Destination. We do see another base here to the right, but it looks like it is up a ramp. And so looks like there's kind of like a lot of artificial chokes that have been created. Some ramps here to allow a little bit more defensive play, but kind of these slots around the map uh, to do things from there. We did see, it looks like we had another drone cancellation, but an over pool otherwise. We'll see how it plays off. Um, I'm assuming this is the third that most players are going to opt to take. This is <clears throat> this is just an odd feature altogether that the minerals are straight up in the mineral fe uh, in the map feature. I'm also curious if they're calling it blindside just because of a lot of the looks like there's just like a lot of entrance points all over the map, like where you can come straight from the far right. It looks like as an engagement. I think these are these cause I think these count as trees and cause kind of the misfire chance as well. Anyway, we'll go from there. How dare you is, sorry, RT, uh, RTG setting up that front door blockade this time against his opponent. Which I feel like, yeah, I'm trying to remember earlier games. I believe he ended up losing matches just because he didn't do the wall incorrect. Which is why he's in the losers match in the first place. We see the hatchery, so 12th hatch. Opposite side. Drone getting halted out of that. So I think there was a can't, what we saw here is that SCV pull off the barracks initially. Start that Supply Depot now, that second SCV grouping up. That is going to put How Dare You in the dark. And Barracks being built. And this is, yeah, I'm actually curious why he decided to build the wall here rather than more towards the front. Maybe because it's harder to build up there. Maybe it's because this is an unfilmed mirror map. Maybe because he wants to do something interesting. I still think we are did manage, wow, Drone manages to get, Hero Drone, able to get an SCV kill. A little bit more of a rare thing. SCV with some minerals is going to end up losing those. Well, let's see if he lifts the bunk, the barracks. Probably not. That's going to end up being the scouting SCV, I think. Or it's going to be a front door blockade SCV, it looks like. Marine kind of wandering around. No, he is going to lift it up. Is that SCV going to come back? No. Wandering up. Going to see that Overlord as it's making its way across. Interesting play. Third hatchery inside base. No gas yet. We see a spawning pool. This is late. So this is three hatch before spawning pool actually. And I think that... Was that scouted? It was scouted. Which is what's triggering this counterattack with these... Uh, with this place. So we do see a command center being built to follow this up. A creep colony to at least force a drone. No Zer so this is going to have to be defended by drones alone. Spawning pool. This is a very large, wide map, though. So reinforcements are going to take a long time to get across here. And two marines, honestly, with good enough drone micro, can be fought back. So two creep colonies, just in case. That's still going to give a big economic boon to how dare you overall. The drones piling up on that SCV, that's taken out. The drones, are they going to kind of bait it in and go for it? So this is enough drones where they can turn around and fight. Creep colony warping in. Yeah, on top of the marines. One drone down. Two drones down. So at least evening things up in that regard. Any zerglings being produced? We do have a handful of zerglings being produced. So this SCV that got locked out, now part of the battle. What the battle of a lifetime. Marine that wandered in, got killed on that something colony. The rest of the Marines taken out. And the drone, and sorry, that SCV taken out as well. If he's going to build a bunker, he needed that SCV there, but really wasn't going to have space to do this. Now for how dare you, he is in a three hatch zergling situation. Two Marines were killed, and this is a natural expansion that he can see is up. Bunker being built. Two barracks in the background starting to build Marines, but with enough Zerglings, might be able to... Nope. Gonna opt. Gonna opt to go ahead and sit back in Macro. Has plenty of larva to work with. Things stabilizing a bit. I think RTG with that counterattack... With that counterattack was able to really even things up. Has that bunker on the front door. Another SCV <laughs> wandering about, distracting some of these Zerglings. Does have that refinery. So things stabilizing. 
in the mid game, I'm going to give, because there's a supply block right now, for how dare you, waiting on an additional overlord, I'm going to give the advantage to RTG, as he is able to accelerate in his overall SCV count. That is unfortunate. I think maybe getting a little bit distracted by everything that was happening. Not It's great when you have drones like this, but if you, or when you have extra larvae like this, but if you don't have the, if you can't fill it in with something, they're just kind of wasted. Um, Lair being produced, and that actually might be what costs him the match. We'll see. Finally, getting additional supply, building a big wave of drones, as you can see, to try to catch up. But already, 31 workers versus 16 here in the mid-game. Stim pack about halfway finished. And that's a lot of Marines. And this is, I think, the thing we saw out of RTG a lot, which is underproducing medics a little bit. Or not having, or having large armies of medics and smaller counts otherwise. How dare you... Plopping down a Hydalus den, perhaps wanting to get Lurker sooner rather than later. Is getting that second extractor. <laughs> Sneeze commentary, bless me. Second extractor up to speed up the gas. Once again, supply block though. He's really having trouble keeping that macro going. A bunch of Marines making their way across. I am a little surprised by this maneuver. One, because of the lack of medics to follow it up. But two, because he already knows there's two sun colonies there in the follow-up. We are seeing Ventral Sacks being upgraded, so it's going to be a slow Lurker drop. Third Creep Colony being produced with the Lurkers. So we do have an Overlord nearby that could perhaps do a low ground. There's already some turrets in the back corner. They were prepared for Mutalisks that aren't coming. A factory being built. So potentially a tech switch? Looking for that third base, seeing nothing. The Marines moving back, now grouped with that Medic Force. Single Zergling wandering forward is not going to see, I don't think sees that Medic Marine Force making its way across. Is going to see that there's nothing here though. So should be aware that hey, an attack is incoming. Range upgrading weapons, one just finishing for RTG as he's moving this attack force forward. Taking kind of an oblique angle, so looking for additional bases potentially. Maybe a little bit confused as far as what's going on. I love it. Got mine at Tracy's. Tracy's Armory. But I'm very curious about this this factory back here um, before the third and fourth barracks. Perhaps to get a little bit earlier. Now fifth barracks as well. Perhaps to get an earlier uh, science vessel. Here, Ventral Sacks is going to finish. Overlord's in nice positions actually to see these units as they're making way across. Some drones and gate. So drones are moving out. I assume to get additional expansions, but they're going to have to. They're going to be pushed back. How dare you? A little bit contained. Has several lurkers up now. A drone making its way to that three o'clock location. Additional hydalisks being produced to deal with this moving army. There is a second, so I think RTG is sniffed out lurkers. So he's got a second bunker there on the front. I don't think he sniffed out the drop, but he has all sorts of medic marine here on the front to engage these lurkers. Burrowing. Oh my goodness! Not reacting in time and losing all of those medic marines in two splashes. That hurts. Drone making its way to that. Wow, it's going to try to sneak that expansion bottom right. It looks like that SCV is going to, in fact, come across and scout it. Lucky timing for RTG. Moving out with another Medic Marine Force to perhaps engage these Lurkers. So let's see this Overlord. Yeah, it's moving down to the south. This might end up not working out for How Dare You just because of how these Medic Marines are being positioned. So they're so it sees the expansion, is making their way there. Is he going to be able to get the Lurkers there? Burrowing the Lurkers. One Lurker down. Second Lurker's up, but much better micro this time. Is able to back off. Siege tech being upgraded. So once siege tanks on the ground, yeah, he's able to clean the rest of these lurkers up with a second scan, and that is going to stop two more lurkers scurrying down from the north. That is going to stop a potential drop that should, honestly, should trigger a cancel from How Dare You. So he's relying essentially everything on a potential lurker drop to really get it, make his way back in this match. In the meantime, yeah, siege tank's going to be here. We do see a. a Starport is in fact up. Science facilities on the way. Engineering bays on the way. There's a lot of area to drop into. Overlords have scooped up two lurkers to try to make their way slowly, very slowly, to this back corner. More lurkers making their way across. I don't think this is going to be sufficient though to get How Dare You back in the match. He also has Phenomenized Carapace. Second word of the day. Being upgraded. I'm glad I actually looked this up to let you guys know. Education gives power, right? Theoretically. Siege tanks going to engage right there. The lurkers trying to slowly make their way across while there's destruction. Moving back across the ramp. 
another scan, but nothing in position to really, I think. Yeah, okay, able to get one seed shot off with that. And here comes the very, very slow drop. I think these turrets can still can still spot it. So distracted otherwise, is he even gonna get the so one lurker down, two lurker down, burrow, marines there to engage. Getting wiped out as they're running into the lurker line. Not in the most optimal position. One lurker taken out. This this does disrupt some mining at the natural expansion. But the siege tank and Oh, not scanning. Okay, deciding to not scan the lurker. Do we have a science vessel that's coming in shortly? About halfway finished. So opting to not... That was an unusual decision. So scanning bottom right to look for an additional expansion rather than to take out the lurker to reestablish his natural. Is getting a second starport in the midst of this. There's that additional scan. And should be able to take out that lurker finally. It got six kills. That was... Okay. That was an unusual last splash though. Took an SC there. Preventative turret. I still feel like RTG is in a great situation. Sitting at 42 workers, 85 supply. How dare you? It was relying a lot, I think, on that that drop. He's also still dealing with a well, just dealing with mostly zerglings. And there's plenty of medic marines to deal with this. Science vessels in the air to really neutralize that as well. Looks like he wants to go for a dive, while the rest of those units are out of position. But these bunkers, there. To try. Uh, to provide defense otherwise, and as long as there's an SCV pull from RTG, he should be in a good position to defend. In the red, by the way, with that Overlord kill. So yeah, Zergling, Lurker all in, towards the natural, as the Medic Marines are making their way across. Now, it's going to come, it needs an SCV pull to get to these bunkers immediately, and it looks like that is a bit delayed. Unfortunately, yeah, the Lurker's just wiping out everything before those SCVs were able to get there. And these lurkers are able to do a lot of damage now into the natural. So now, how dare you evening things up? Might even be able to get this command center, but I don't think there's enough defense to defend this third base and the counterattack. Comparatively, a lot of lurkers morphing in, but the medic marines, if they get a move on, should be able to kill that and get bonus. So both players trying to get blows both directions. So that hatchery is taken out. Lurkers still not spawning. They're going to spawn right on top of a bunch of medic marines, although they need to focus on the actual lurkers before they burrow. Defense matrix on the siege tank. Not really needed. These medic marines can back off and just slow play this up into the, the creek colony, but... And it looks like that lurker force is going to get cleaned up at the main, and I think RTG has won the match now because that... Well, let's see. Pushing in with the rest of those Zerglings. A little bit of a hesitation. Some Lurkers actually pulling back and re-engaging on top of this Met Marine Force. So that's where they went. And they are going to be able to clean up the rest of this front. Those Siege Tanks getting wiped out. And now the game has reset, basically. Back to the early game with a bunch of Minerals. <laughs> this is interesting. Using the Command Center as a natural blockade. Finally, that's getting wiped out. So RTG finally going to be able to take his natural. How dare you retaking his third. We're basically back to two base. Two base versus soon to be third base for Zerg. Anyone's match all of a sudden. Tech towards Hive. Hydralis range being upgraded, perhaps to switch to the Hydra Defiler thing that has been so popular. The one big X factor has been how dare you getting those science vessels. And he does have two store uh, he does have two starports. This one is burning, he might want to catch that. Not sure if he realizes that's burning or not. One science vessel, ooh, a little bit latently out there, needs to, yeah, get back to home base. And RTG continuing to keep that pressure up. He's finally got a supply lead for the first time in this match. Keep in mind, he also has that drop capability, and it looks like he is gathering up to maybe do a doom drop in the main. There is a turret there. This is where reinforcements are coming out, but there's not siege tanks or a lot else. Is that level one armor? Level two armor. Level two weapons, level two armor is there versus, I think, zero upgrades comparatively. So big upgrade advantage for RTG. It's going to grab that base in the bottom left. And now we see that Doom drop into the main. Only a single turret, second turret engaging, but everything unloading. And it looks like they are going to be able to evacuate as well. So more economic disruption. Science vessel making its way. Immediate lift from the command center, but this is right on top of that barracks. So all of these units actually need to come back, and they need to defend this. Also, that, that starboard, I think, is just going to burn down eventually. Lifting all the barracks as well. All of the barracks as well. So he's going to have to clear this. That might be game. Because he's going to have to clear this with what he has on the ground. He's kind of moving in piecemeal. 
and not able to reinforce. Losing a lot of supply, a lot of infrastructure. More units making their way across. He does have some science vessels. Oof. Good bust. The siege tanks slowly making their way in. Let's see. Yeah, our, how dare you re-engaging. He's able to clear off. So, looks like RTG is going to be able to clean this attack force off. Slowly and methodically. But he did end up losing his science facility. Ended up losing a lot of tech back here. We're back to even supply, which usually puts things in at Zerg advantage. Loses that science facility again. His mains wiped out. Is going to have to reestablish that. <laughs> the starport is slowly burning. Maybe he'll recognize this once these SCV... Because these SCV are oddly trapped on that transfer. We'll see. And while that's happening, a counterattack to the bottom left. I think that might be game. More units flooding their way across. They're going to have a long way to go to try to re-engage this. Lurker is plugging that natural gap. Science vessels speeding in, but they don't have. A, well, they do have plenty of energy. Maybe they can plop some radiates. But I don't know that radiates researched. It's just defensive matrix. That's one thing I didn't think about. That science facility wasn't up long enough to get a radiate research. So he just has defensive matrix to work with. And all those science, even if it, even if that mattered, they're getting wiped out. Hydalus pressing into the natural expansion. Everything has relanded. It's reproducing a bit willy-nilly there in that back group repair and how dare you just continually doing just applying an onslaught and RTG now group repairing that starport finally but his natural expansions in breach he's down to one base again he's up against three base zerg how dare you has map control twice the supply at the end of all of these attacks and is in a strong position yeah he's gonna GG there Oof, a wild one. That was fun. I think I'm going to do one more after that. Wild one. How dare you taking game one with some very aggressive play. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for listening.